Um, hang on. Hang on. I forgot like. Can I just press a random button instead of use that as the intro? I've got. I'll go on then. That one. I'm going home and I'm going home. <laughs> For some reason, he likes to edit bits of my songs and put them on the soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the one part of the theme tune original that does not get copyrighted. Fun fact. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Off The Stage. It's a show where we take musicians off the stage and into the pub to talk about the ins and outs of the music world. We are in the fantastic Isis pub once again. I'm James Berry. This is Connor Michael and we are together joined by... Hang on, I should... I need... Uh, it's Lab With Oceans. I'm just trying to find the clap button. There we go. You know what this... <laughs> I have oh, trouble. Oh, every is it labyrinth oceans? Is it labyrinthine? Labyrinthine. I thought it yes. was. Labyrinth. People have got it much worse. Okay. So we've had like lady brain oceans and stuff. <laughs> Lab- well, I just yeah. saw the theme. Read Lab- the full <laughs> word. <laughs> oh god, I. I've missed. I've missed. Yeah, I will say I do. It's a very, very that. long word. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay. So just, what is a labyrinthine? It's like something being maze-like. So, okay. Yeah, like like a labyrinth. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Okay, not that, quite a labyrinth. Half there. Yeah, yeah. So what, what's the difference? I'm not sure to be honest. Okay. Easy to find your way out of, maybe. I don't know. I I came up with a name. I thought it sounded cool. Yeah, I it regret does. it. It's it's cool, but everyone um, can't say it. So yeah. you know, <laughs> because, it's because a bit we're thick up. and look, I cannot spell properly. You know, that's that's basically it. That's uh, that's my fault. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what are you guys drinking? Water. <laughs> um, Pepsi Max. Ooh. Pineapple and raspberry old moot. Oh, even wow. Better. Like a true sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it today. <laughs> Get your 10% discount by using the discount code Labyrinthine Options. Yeah, I Let's have a mango sour. A mango mm. sour. Ooh. What does that taste like? I'm assuming mango. It tastes like a sour mango. <laughs> Sure, that's quite refreshing, to be fair. That's better Ooh, than that I was expecting. Lovely. You know what? That makes me excited for the sun. Because mm. it's starting to get warm now, isn't it? It it's is. Like, yes. mm. Makes me upset that they won't have this drink when it comes to it. But yeah, probably not. Right, I've got another mystery. every week. I've got another mystery drink. Uh, let's I'm going to pretend that I know what it is. <laughs> it's, um... Oh, what was... It tastes a bit like, um... Like a lesser... We do talk about music soon, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lesser, um, lesser strong version of um, the Wylam Brewery one. Um, Jakehead. Well, this t- is a, a pale ale. Pale ale. I think it's called Fuzzy or Fussy or Fluffy. I just imagine. But it's fluffy because it's got like a something bit, <laughs> something like that. It's a bit hazy, isn't it? It's like it's a bit um, cloudy. I asked. It's, it's very nice though. Julianne, what she'd recommend, and. Uh, she was trying to point them out as well. This is the guy who really loves Fruity, so she gave you the most Fruity like drink. I can that see, yeah. That's good selection. Thank you very much, Julian. And apologies for getting your name wrong if you watch the podcast frequently. Um, for ages, there's a, the barmaid downstairs who lets us use this room, and uh, we thought her name was Julia until she messaged us on the podcast with her account of Julianne. I'm like, ah, <laughs> well, we got that wrong, so apologies. <laughs> I think we have a, um, like a tradition of getting names wrong and stuff like that, especially me. Yeah, I always get names wrong. Yeah, you've got Nathan, Labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we've rung Labyrinth on the podcast before. That's a big name. I can't remember if I called Palm Grey, Grey Palm, or if it was called Grey Palm, Palm Grey. It's all right, we've got uh, Philip Jonathan doing the, uh, the festival. Jonathan right? Philip, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Reversing the, the names. Um, anyway, so you guys, who are you? Good question. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's go on. What do you do in the band? Yeah. Who are you? What, what's, what do you bring? the team oh uh i'm toby i'm the bass player and uh ambient Noise person maker. the guy with the massive uh <laughs> yes. the, the, the spaceship yeah. Yeah. yes yeah. i to be honest i like just making noises more than playing the bass <laughs> i've been looking at synthesizers i've been playing guitar recently i've just been you're in the right job just <laughs> enjoying one one chord for for 10 minutes just just Playing with the, the yeah. delay times and it's brilliant. You're like a mad professor for like ambient music. I love ambient music. <laughs> you'd, you'd probably get um, go with that like Doc Ock if you had one of those. Te- you could just press multiple uh, like pedals, pedals hanging off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all over. yeah. Um, I'm Julia. Uh, I'm the vocalist and 
not very good rhythm guitarist. Um. That's a bad way to advertise yourself. <laughs> Let's edit that out, James. Yeah. Go again. <laughs> yeah, the, the brilliant rhythm I'm, I'm the very extremely good guitarist. Exactly, that's what I want. Yeah. He's not. <laughs> that's yeah. a joke. Um. We gave you your chance to slate them earlier, Dan. <laughs> I'm neutral. I'm still neutral. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's the neutral party. Um, I write very depressing songs. That's, yeah. And I have a mini, mini spaceship. It's not, it's not as impressive, impressive, yeah, impressive as his. Yes. Yes. It's so quite cool. I've got a spaceship. He has a spaceship. I'm a spaceship. I'm not <laughs> spaceship. <laughs> what we call a spaceship is like it's a it's a giant pedal board, right? Like full of pedals. I have like a pedal. That is it, <laughs> and a tuning pedal. Not as no. big as his. His, his no, is. His is yeah, a colossus. It's, it's, it's the mental. biggest one pedal train make. And yours yeah. on the ship. Well, I've, I mean, I, I went to see you on Thursday at um, the Vox Vox Tap Room. And I was like, that can't, like, the bassist surely can't have the biggest pedal board of the band. Oh, yeah. usually the guitar player, but I was like, oh, he does. <laughs> yeah. It sounded good, man. Uh... Anyway, uh, we've, we're missing a... I'm Daniel, and I like to pretend that I'm good at guitar. No, you are good at, good at guitar. I, I like to pretend I can play solos. I just do the same well, thing. Well, I'll tell you what, that's all I do. And uh, as I say, I listened to you and I thought you were a very good guitar player. And I thought you were a very good guitar player as well. Thank you. That, uh, <laughs> I know nothing about lead guitar, but I know that if you ever make a mistake, you're only one semitone out with the right key. So <laughs> Call it don't jazz. doubt yourself. <laughs> that's what it's you think. Just it's just jazz. It's just jazz. Yeah. Um, so we're sensing a bit of a, a lack of confidence <laughs> a little bit here. Um, how long have you been going as a band? Um, just over a year, like year and two months, yeah, cool. uh, with this lineup. But okay. um, we are you the original band member? Yes, me and Toby. Yes, um, and our drummer who isn't here today. Um, and we sort of have been going since like June twenty twenty one. Ish. I think yeah. so, somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I've been writing and playing a lot longer than that. So how did you two know each other to join the band? Um, it was just sort of through, like we were both home educated um, through. Oh, right. I was through secondary and he's oh. been forever. Yeah, so we we kind of just met at like this community center yeah. type thing. It was. Oh, so it's like so it's like a, a, a meet up for people who are homeschooled. Yeah, That's it, interesting. It's quite good. Yeah, you get a lot of people from further away. Like I'm from Sunderland and Toby's from Harleypool, mm, so yeah. it's like coming all the way up to Sunderland yeah. from yeah. all over. So it's quite cool. You meet people. I was gonna say I was always wondered how that works, like yeah. being homeschooled. But that's that's a cool idea. It's it's like a very kind of you're friends with the people your age, but uh, often at these meetups there are people like five, six years yeah, old, like and you're every like every age possible. I've, yeah. I've, I've, you know, we don't go to them anymore. Yeah, it's, so, I don't need them anymore. You're in a band. Yeah. So. <laughs> when you did the homeschool, I'm assuming it's that parents that were teaching you. Yeah, I but, mean, my whole family's like teachers. So but your parents very like, musical. Is that how you got into this? Um, my dad was a drummer. Um, my mum sort of dabbled in piano, I think, at a young age, but not really otherwise. But we've sort of always been a really musical household. So. M- and mine aren't whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. So how but did you they're, get they're into, into that it. with the whole? Oh, your dad's really into music. He it, it is, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like um, I just, I just wanted to, to kind of have a hobby, really. And yeah. I, I picked up the guitar first, and I thought, ooh, don't really like that to begin with. So I Too picked up strings. a bass. <laughs> picked up a bass instead. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's just kind of how we got into it. Um, so have you, have you played, I mean, is bass, guitar, pretty much the one you were looking and thinking like, this is what I want to Yeah, abs- absolutely. Uh, I mean, with, with guitar, it's like, a, you, you kind of, a lot of kind of the guitar teaching, you're kind of told, this is the music you should listen to, or this is the music. And I, I had like a, an Epiphone Les Paul, so it's a very kind of traditional thing. And you think of like 60s blues and like mm. Guns N' Roses and stuff. And I thought, wow, I like none of that. <laughs> um, but, well, not really, but I don't like playing it. Yeah. So, um, it was kind of like I, I just felt like the bass kind of had a, a broader range of kind of yeah, inspiration I mean, for me. I mean, okay. it's especially modern music, like people people don't realise how important the bass actually is. Absolutely. You always the guitar player. No offence. <laughs> but um, the, the bass, as you think, like I mean, I was even like watching. Um, this guy trying to do, even 
Taylor Swift's latest song and he was like explaining the bass tone and uh-huh. how it should, I didn't even notice, I didn't recognise it, but I was like, that's a hell of a bass line, that is like proper low end, fuzzy as shit. And I'm like, fuck it, no, I shouldn't swear too much, should I? But, get there, but never mind. Can I get us cancelled before we get popped? Yeah, I know, flip the neck. No, but it's, you, you don't really like, but that's, that's, especially modern music, it's all drum and bass. Uh-huh. That's, yeah. that's cool. And, and the music I was listening to, it, if there was any guitar, it'd be very light and there'd be like a, an awesome bass line with it. And I just thought, right, well, I should do that instead. Um, and and so I just kind of started playing my favourite songs and that's kind of how it started. I mean, I'm noticing in terms of influences, I've got, you've got a Nirvana t-shirt. Yes. You've got an Ailstorm. Is that, yes. oh, that looks cool <laughs> as hell. Honest to God. Is that the um the the, the pirate the future? I've got the back, musical. I've got Back to the Future, <laughs> the musical, <laughs> the greatest musical ever written. I tell you what, you recommend it to everyone. You have got Damien Weiss. Are we on a band shirt? Are we done one out? Uh, no, I've got, I've got <laughs> mushrooms on my shirt. Mushrooms. <laughs> um. So obviously, you guys started the band essentially. When did you join in? How did you meet these guys? I met these guys at college in 2021, was it? We started? Yeah, like 2021, yeah. 2022. Yeah, so I went to college that, like, not very far from my house, and these two also went to that college, and it's a complete coincidence that we ended up because you mm. were, like, doing weird things with courses before. Mm. But we met, we got put in a group together, we started playing a bit. And then I found out that these guys did stuff outside, and they invited me to play for a couple of gigs. Cool. And then, kind of from there, I just got picked up. Ooh, like, oh, damn, he's sick. good. Let's get him. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they stole me. I'm trapped. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask him to play twice. <laughs> um, and obviously, you said there's a drummer as well. Is yeah. it just the four of you in the band? It is. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. when was the drummer in? Was was he with you originally? Is he um, or she? Uh, we haven't met the drummer. Um, he was in pretty much from the start, really. But more as like a session thing. Mm. We play more stuff like as a duo and then um, Jack would sort of be in from like about the summer probably of yeah for, for like the gigs that we more. felt needed a bit more energy and needed yeah. to be a bit heavier but we kind of phased out the kind of Dual yeah. bass yeah, guitar well, thing very once, quickly. Once once you hear your song, you're like the full <laughs> band behind it. It just you just you never go back. Yes. It's just like Pandora's yeah. box. I, just, uh, I say I don't play guitar, but like our last dual thing, I actually played guitar instead yeah. of bass, and, and I, I like doing more, that. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean you you're basically just a lead guitarist with a bass. Yes. In the band, so that's, that's what you I, know. I mean. I only picked up bass because we couldn't find a bass player that smiled. <laughs> like, that's a true story. Like, <laughs> yeah. And the last bass player we had, he was literally like, the last practice, he was he was on his phone and he was just doing that. Like, oh my handy. god. And we were like, you really don't want to be here, do you? <laughs> I thought about writing happier songs. Well, I'm. <laughs> oh, fuck this. Another pencil song. Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Get over it, James. It's been 30 years. I know, I should really, shouldn't I? <laughs> no. Um. So what kind of genre would you guys say describes the band as such? Yes. Oh. Question that nobody knows the answer yeah, to. I'd, no one, I don't think, can uh, place us properly. It's, um, I mean, just, you can categorise as alternative or whatever, but it's literally yeah. just all of our tastes put together. Yeah. yeah it's that's, literally it's just, just, you, a, you can hear album. everything. It's like Eldritch being of oh. all sorts. Yeah. <laughs> Old rock. Oh, right. so, something I, under all. I, I, I it's hate a very it. large category now. I know it is, but everyone's all wrong. The thing is, there's, there's a reason for it because nowadays, especially like modern music and stuff like that, everybody gets their influences from everybody. So if you, yeah. you buy, if you sound a bit more rocky, then it's it's alternative rock. So because yeah. it's 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 like it's not full on rock. It's like it's got other influences here and there. So it's I like that term more rocky. We did a gig on the weekend and someone was like, can you do something more rocky? And I was like, I don't know if you want like Def Leppard or F- Eye of the Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> like, to yeah. find rocky. Yeah. I think part of it is as well as no one wants to admit to just being pop or just being rock, so they kind of needs to be yeah. other Some things. Categories. Yeah, you kind of get like Everywhere. trapped in a corner mm. if you categorise yourself into something and then you've just got like no way out of that for the rest yeah. of your career. Yeah. So we sort of land at probably more like experimental alt rock. We dip our toes in a lot of things. Experimental alt rock. There you go. That's a that's a <laughs> so, something in that book. Because then you can do anything with that. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the trap Fallout Boy made because they started being a bit dancey and no one liked them because they were like, well, this isn't pop punk. It's like, <laughs> no, you know, it's not. They tried to do something different. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
So you guys played HMV Newcastle quite recently. Yes. Uh, yes. Big shout out to Rich. Well, hey. Lovely. 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 Rich. Great game. Richard. Yeah. Um, how did that go? How did you find it? Pretty good. That went oh, yeah. very well. Yeah. Um, as, as we were saying b- before we started, we were at Centre Park, so that was the day after we got back. Oh. We were just like... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So zonked. it was it was very kind of impromptu, and and we didn't have a drummer for that. Uh, it was like a very last minute. Oh, we don't have a drummer, so uh, <laughs> semi acoustic ish. Um, but it went quite well, to be honest. Like, it's it is always cool playing in there because you've got like a rotating crowd of people, yeah. and, like yeah, you get really easy access to people you've never you seen play? before. Uh, I think we played like a 45 minute set. That's a good, sort of. It's a good length. Yeah, like like you say, it is that kind of like you get like the odd couple of people who stick for the full thing, but yeah. Yeah. it's a good like rotation of, of folk. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Um, it was nice like playing upstairs because we played the last year downstairs. Mm. Um, and it, it was sort of weird because there was sort of merchandise like sort of around us. Um, people stepping over you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I want that people post to be over, the, yeah. over the edges. We were practically blocking the escalator. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when we played at HMV Sunderland, while we were setting up, there was a guy like hellbent on getting like a... He was like, I must get to the posters or like to the CDs. And he was just sort of beelining to it over our equipment like, uh, and it was like all cordoned off and everything uh, and just like it's definitely James gets yeah. a Rick and Morty post yeah, sorry about that <laughs> um, just a reminder to our viewers if you haven't seen it yet episode 42 we do our live and local at HMV where we've got loads of acts and it's a good episode go check it out um, back to our pod um, We last week we experimented with changing it up a little bit and we do a thing called Just Ask James get searching um, uh, and this is where James finds questions on the internet, specifically from Reddit, about musicians that are having problems, like, oh, I don't like my guitarist, what should I do? And then we tell them what they should do. Um, yeah. Go on, you got this, James. It's just loading. Go on, you got this, James. <laughs> um, I don't put shit. So, <laughs> well, use that. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be like loads of, it's kind of like, like advice central. Um, you can be sincere or you can take the piss. <laughs> Whatever you like, do one of each, you know. Uh, you do tend to get us. You get a lot of egos in this as well. And it's like someone's like, "I am the best songwriter <laughs> of all time," and no one wants to be friends with me or join a band. What is their problem? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. you need to rein your ego in. <laughs> I'm, I'm on some music subreddit. So. Oh, there it's, was, it's a there was like a, a, guy, a guy today on like the guitar pedal subreddit, and he's like, "I've got none of these. Is this a good starting board?" And he had some like 500 quid pedals on there, and I'm thinking, "Well, I just, yeah. okay." Oh. <laughs> yeah. All of the comments were kind of get an Alex. I love it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get one of those. Yeah. I've got a one. It's fine. Love it. You got one. I've got That's one. A lengthy one. I've got. Oh yeah, I know. But oh. I, I thought I thought this would be good okay. to um, do it coincide because obviously you are like, I'm right, not a very good guitar player, <laughs> even though you clearly are. Um, proof. I've seen them. I've known. Right. Um, this one is by uh, user Maleficent Basket. Nearly swear that. Three, four, nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's titled "Struggling Musician." So what we're gonna do is he's, he's gonna, or she or they are gonna. Um, You're gonna read out the problem. Read out the problem, and we're gonna see if we can help them. That's pretty much easy. We never do. <laughs> you know, well I've tried it, but then you just you just always say, just give up now. It's not worth it. But anyway, that's it. Hello, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Ask away. Before I ask, I want to give a rundown of where I am for context. I've been playing guitar for about six years. About three years ago, I decided that music is an industry I want to be a part of. I watch many podcasts and interviews. You better be watching this one, son. Not that you know about it. I don't advertise it on Reddit, but... (laughs) Why don't you? I should do, shouldn't I? I I watch many podcasts and interviews from musicians I love. Oh, yeah, me. (laughs) I remember hearing some of them talk about... um, Interning at stu- or interning at studios. Okay, interning at studios. I see. Right. So being an in- intern, getting into the, the thing. Okay, I get that. Right. So naturally, that's what I did. I learned a lot about music there. I learned the whole mixing and mastering process. I had no clue what that process was like. I learned what modes were. I learned what the tempo is. I eventually cleaned enough toilets to where the owner let me run sessions with his guidance. Sessions in the toilet. Oh, maybe. Good acoustics. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, I'm like, hang on. Actually, you know what? I need to get some glasses. Go on, James. This is very um, long-winded. What's his problem? We, okay, we did that for a year, even though it got an assistant. I don't know. At the two-year 
At the two year mark, my father was diagnosed with cancer. I had to leave the studio and pick up a full-time job to help my family stay afloat. This is clearly America, because this wouldn't happen in England, where you have to get a job to pay for your medical insurance. <laughs> America, sort your shit out. <laughs> right, uh, I figured I could be just be a producer and sell music to singers. I wake up at 4am to get ready and get home at like 3, usually in bed by 9 to 10. I've been doing this for a year and I'm flipping exhausted. I don't understand how I'm supposed to get better at guitar, learn music theory, ear training, mixing and writing. I feel like once I stopped working on music all day every day, everything went downhill. I just feel like there was zero progress. I'm not looking to become famous on the music in only a few years, but I would like to see some sort of progress and I'm just not seeing it. I can't quit my job because I have bills and a studio to build. I don't ever go hang out with the friends or go searching for a live undress to... Ooh. My day is a full-time job, no music, no days off. The music is all I want to do, but it's been really discouraging putting in so much work and getting nothing out of it. I don't have friends that are musicians and I have no clue. If this is all a part of the process or if I'm setting myself up for failure and I'm in denial about it, what would y'all do? I hate that word y'all. Y'all? Really do. Definitely American. Obviously American. Um, any advice or suggestions are greatly appreciated. So I think the problem is here. I was going to say, I have the attention span of four seconds. Yeah, so. <laughs> it lost me at cleaning toilets. So let's, too, too long didn't read. He, he wanted to get into music, really enjoyed music. Um, his dad got cancer, could no longer work. He had to then work to pay the bills, and now he's got, he feels he's got no time for music, and he still wants to do it, but he just doesn't find, he just doesn't have the, the time, I guess kind of like me to be honest but you should start a podcast <laughs> so what, what's your advice for, for a musician who wants to get back into it um, but he feels he's setting for fairly because if he keeps keeps at it and he's not doing it every single day he thinks well what is the point I mean my my opinion is music is a good de-stress you don't have to be like perfect just just do it for fun I mean what 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 my base uh, my base teacher tells me is that you should, you know, if you've got a commute, half an hour, forty minutes, whatever, you can still think about your techniques and you can k still kind of try to picture in your head what you're kind of wanting to do. Oh, that's um, nice. Also, just just listening to music you like in the car. If if you if you're not got the time, like. You know, it's kind of very difficult, I, th I think, to kind of do music without um, listening to music, yeah. which is, is like a very weird You always thing. have that. I mean, I, honestly, the amount of, um, cause I'm, I'm in a wedding band as well, and every single week you've got to learn at least two first dance songs. And like, I don't have time for that. I've also got another full time job as well as doing the podcast I don't have time for that so all I do is I pretty much just listen to the song and then I, I kind of like map it in my head how how I can play it and then by the time I actually get to play it literally the first time I pick up my guitar at the wedding <laughs> I shouldn't tell people actually <laughs> just revealing your secrets yeah, like, yeah. I, I already know how to play it because I already know the song so yeah listen I just um, commutes listens uh, YouTube videos you can you can do Spotify's and stuff like that. He says he listens to podcasts, listen to music production podcasts. You you learn loads there. L literally, it's just getting the inspiration like from from anything and going with that. Mm. That is sound I've advice. Found that with me as well. Like just listen to music that you like, and then just if you're listening to something and you've got a like, tiny bit of time, pick up a guitar, pick up something, mm. yeah. try playing along. Yeah, that's like taught me most of the techniques I know. I think uh, give up on sleep. Yeah, invest, just don't sleep. Oh. Invest on Red Bull, <laughs> and just yeah, you yeah. use your your eight hours sleep to to play music. This guy gets it. And I, yeah, you laugh, I but this is what all something. musicians do. <laughs> yeah. Yep, <laughs> yep. Just yep. sort of rocking in the corner at three Dying, in the morning. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like we finished a gig on a, on the weekend at like at half two in the morning. I didn't. I think I got like an hour sleep when I got home because I connect two kinds of Red Bull to stay awake. <laughs> but like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Are you awake? On to the next gig. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I quite enjoy this concoction I make sometimes. It's, it's a kind of monster. But there are these uh, little energy drinks that you can get from most Asian supermarkets uh, called uh, Ripe Orbit and D. 
Um, it's and terrible. They are horrible. They come in like medicine bowls. It's basically medicine. Like, kind it of was mix medicinal half of one of those into a monster, and it gives it so much more juice. It has like what, like twice as much caffeine or something. It actually doesn't have that much, but it's oh. got a bunch of other things that kind of combine with the caffeine, and it, it makes you feel good. It's like mixing powdered milk into more milk. Yes. Double the yeah. energy. That sounds, yeah, that sounds deadly, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the heart, ultimate heart attack waiting to happen. That. I'm going I'm I'm to enjoy living. Yeah. <laughs> pint of Red Bull, pint of Guinness. D- drink it responsibly, obvious, obvious. Damn right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, I mean, there's, there's, a, some, there's, there's a, someone called Fictional Reality 08. It says, Storm will pass by. Hang in there. Don't give up on your passion, spend as much as you possibly can on it, even a few mins. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. That's okay, that's kind. Um, is there any other ones? Oh, this one's quite a long one. Um, that's a lot of stress without, I'll say, the smelly bacon land. This, uh, that's the name of the person. Um, what? That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> what, what quantifies smelly bacon? Um, I guess it's if you leave it out for a few days and it well, the things that you're not going to want to eat it, are you? But what's a s- s- smelly, smelly bacon, bacon land? I, I smelly bacon land would be like, <laughs> yeah, just now you're associating the smell as a bad smell. It could just be like a really good smell. It could just bacon. be when people are cooking oh, bacon. That's, that's it's a like smell like very, of bacon. Oh, that's smelly bacon. Bacon smells like a lot, but, right? But, like but when people cook it. Smell it. Smell like, like, I don't know. You're not a bacon eater. I'm a vegetarian, so yeah. House of vegetarians. Bacon is good. <laughs> Can't confirm. Yeah, but yeah, like vegetarian bacon's alright. Actually, I would, actually. I would recommend not, bacon no. sometimes. It tastes like frazzles. Fair enough. It, it smells like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The frazzles taste like bacon. Frazzles are good. Yeah, it's vegan good. bacon that needs to sort its shit out. I love it. I love it. Oh, do you know what? Vegetarian <laughs> food is fine. My man's veggie. I had no problem with that. It's when vegans came in and said, "Now this is all the veggie stuff." And go, "What? What the fuck? You don't my mints?" Yeah. Oh, there's some nasty stuff. The the potato starch and coconut oil cheese. It's horrible. Ugh. You just said words. It's it's horrendous. It's as bad as it sounds, but worse. It's yeah. terrible. Really, really bad. Right, so, <laughs> sorry, yeah, we're going to change the podcast. No, it's all right. Uh, oh, yeah. vegan Smell, it's smelly up. bacon land. <laughs> uh, change the subject here. <laughs> smelly bacon land. We will visit your attraction one day. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I just give up on sleep. <laughs> Invest in Rebel. Did you ever see that? Um, have you ever? Did you ever watch American Dad? No, no. no. Uh, there's an episode of American Dad because he works for the CIA, mm. so he gets all these like super cool, um, like modern kind of contraptions and stuff. And he uh, they make this pill where he, basically you, you don't have to sleep. So what he does is um, rather than like, because he, he, he always wanted the time to do his own little hobby and stuff. Yes, so he, yeah, so he basically takes his pill and he just doesn't tell anyone about it. So he's, <laughs> he gets a wizard and he do that. Join the CIA. <laughs> Take pills. Uh, yeah, take do drugs. Rock and roll. Do drugs. <laughs> stay awake. <laughs> and uh, and yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Die before you're thirty. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> guys. I've got a year and a half left. But then you've lived. <laughs> I'm, I'm minus four years. I know. <laughs> um, let's call that part one. Yes. Um, because I don't have much plan for part two. I got two questions. This is going to be a very short part two. I'll try and make it longer. <laughs> no, we'll make it. We'll make it work. We just talk really, really slow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we will be back. Boys. Sound like you were starting a weird lullaby. Part two. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Season a bit. <laughs> dun, 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 bam. Hello there. Hi guys. Um, we are here to tell you about our festival. Uh, on the 17th of June this year, from 2 o'clock at the Ship Isis, we are hosting our very first Off the Stage Fest. We certainly James, are. tell them who we've got. We have headlining the Neolectrics. Ooh, most people go headline last, but go yeah. on. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, we're all, well, I don't know how to do this. It's the first festival we're going to be hosting. We have Yuma, Sam Shields, Josh Hennigan, Philip Jonathan, Black Moss, Electric Circus, and Fire Lady Look. And then on our final three acts of the night, we have... Fail to ignite. Ellen. And who's headlining, James? The Neo Electrics. Ah, oh, you never heard that before. Um, it's going to be uh, no fixed fee. You just walk in, you pay a donation, whether you want to pay a penny or you want to pay a million pound or even more, you know, by all means. Um, we don't take a cut. It all goes to the axe. If you pay a million, we might take a little sample. But yeah. uh, realistically, no, we're not going to take anything. It's going to be given to the 
to the acts split equally and there'll be a separate tip jar as well Absolutely. on the stage um, if you can make it all day make it all day if you can't it does open at two it does probably open like half one really yeah the half first one on at two yeah um, and yeah that's kind of all we need to say yeah two just, ship Isis and Sunland yeah. and so this, this cam was fucking wonky I've just realised oh well yeah Anyway. Unless you look taller for once. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, either enjoy the rest of the pod, or I hope you enjoyed the episode. I don't know where this, ep- this clip comes into it. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll see you on the 17th of June. See you later. It's um, funny when the viewers don't understand what the fuck's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Welcome like, back to the middle of a conversation. <laughs> yeah, as, as I was saying, there's, there's just a lot more to, to music than, like, just... A lot of people, sort of. Here's, here's a good, you know... Guitar playing on on the street, which is is brilliant it's a way very to make good money. Way to make money, but yeah. you know, the, there's like very kind of outlying out there type jobs in the the industry that you wouldn't <laughs> think about. Yeah, you yeah. think though, because it is. I mean, the the did like the media world is gonna be the the dominant money making force, and it's like we we are going through. I mean, we're, I don't think we're nearly there, but it's like the what you'd call like the fourth industrial revolution yeah. Yeah. where the it's based, it's the digital world and that's gonna absolutely steamroll <clears throat> pun intended the um the whole world I'm so totally. laughing at you the, don't the, speak French joke that was a good one. Oh yeah well because Connor Connor here was like oh I did, I did French and business studies I don't speak French but buddy that's the funky music do the talking <laughs> it was funny the first time I <laughs> didn't have to repeat it yeah I know but I felt, I felt I should because I quite like that just you know <laughs> The, the thing is as well you, you guys will understand like you do music but you pick up things about video editing you pick up lighting you pick up like I don't but James <laughs> this, this, this is why I'm on the podcast you see because I, 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 I bring the little stands <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a necessary job I type things that make Stand me look important <laughs> it's, it's like there, there was like a, I break a, the sign <laughs> yeah. I had a sign that said off the stage and then I drop the speaker on it and now it says I'm going to sing you lost the all first and you just wrote on a bit of paper oh get the sign go on it's not it bad it's it's go on I, I like the sign yeah I mean it is like you pick up so yes. many different yeah, skills yeah in the top it's great oh, yes. I don't think any of it is connected anymore so let's see what we've got oh my god <laughs> <laughs> off <laughs> we're off yeah there we go welcome back to off <laughs> and I <laughs> So uh, yeah, it was actually when we did the H&B Local, I was carrying this in its bag and I also had the speaker on top and I kind of <laughs> dropped it and... It's gone. Yeah. But um, we're representing the local bands though. Well, we tried. We've got, we've got Shannon, Shannon Pearl Band. Yeah, we've got Ellen, we've got Electric So If you've got any stickers, we can put them on the broken board. If we were about a month later, we probably would. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like on pre-order is it so it, we, we just try to collect the money <laughs> if anyone wants to pre-order any stickers uh, 50p a piece um, oh, yeah. I'll take a couple of stickers we will get an actual sign made um, oh, it's gotta be I mean good. look the light still turns on you know James where okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on oh, it's flickering hey look <laughs> See? Just put another hole That's, in it. This was the original though. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. Let's see, the lights are in there, kind of. They're, they're, they're in there. I, 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 Just about. I already dropped the ball on this one. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, hang on. Yeah. 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 I can't hear. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's a little uh, you, don't, you don't need to. No, I got applauded by Finish the brightness. It was ah. great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back to part two, guys. Um, this is the part where uh, we normally like send out Instagram questions and people ask you questions. And I checked the first two, didn't check the account since then, so there might have been loads of questions I've missed. So the two we have for you today <laughs> uh, at Grey Palm Band, who we had on last week. It's great uh, bomb band, okay. You got it? Yeah, I've got it. You good? Yeah. Great bomb. Great good. bomb. Cool. Uh, what's the most memorable gig you went to with your bandmates? Not perform, but the one that you've been to in the crowd. Oh. <sighs> We've not India. really okay. been to many as a band. We, but I'd, for me, I'd say India Arc and yeah. at, at Bobex. But yeah, that was, that yeah. was a brilliant gig. That yeah. was like for a... Uh, 
I, that was kind of her, her Newcastle gig when she got signed. Which yeah, was, it was like the first with like all of the band that I think she played. It oh. was that was brilliant. Oh, but it was I, I, I mean, we're all into such different genres. It's it's like you know he went to go see like Bullet for My Valentine the, the, a couple of weeks ago, and it's like ah, you could you would not catch me dead. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, <laughs> and you kind of nearly broke your foot, or potentially did break your foot. It is still. <laughs> bad we, we we are planning on all going to see the northern boys in october yeah. that's going to be a right <laughs> laugh yeah. Yeah. um I, I'd, I'd say for us uh it was cory wong in manchester last yeah, year we the funk guitarist he's he's brilliant and Fantastic. it was really really good yeah. seeing him live i made very sustained eye contact with him at one point and it was rather <laughs> we, we rather got right good. right it's to the scary front. though because he's like that you know, like, we got right to the front we got some signed vinyl actually the uh, mm. the, the mm. we, we bought all the, the the merch and stuff like to you know the start and then we just left it there because they were like, oh, we'll keep, we can keep it under the merch stand and then we had two signed copies of the vinyl and then when we got back there was only one there they, they'd sold off one of them and kept a non yeah. one so, so it was it was Mm. What, is, what is it? Was it like the 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 O2 in Manchester? They need to sort their stuff. They, out. they need to sort their merch stand stuff. Out. We but went there. Did we? Was that? Do you know we got the Apollo? It's still the O2 Apollo. Is it O2 Apollo? Is yeah. that the same one? Oh, is it the O2 Apollo you went to? It was like the one on the uni campus, sort of in the big room. Right next to a really big roundabout. <laughs> That no. was only just down the road. Was, <laughs> was, was it the academy? I think it could Please have been. Please clip that yeah. one out just yeah. for yeah. Ashley. <laughs> we, we went, we're like, we're missuses, and uh, we went to see Damien Rice a couple of weeks ago, and it was at the uh, Manchester O2 Apollo, and mm-hmm. uh, we were just walking down the road, and she was in her heels, and she was like, oh, how long is this guest? Just down the road. It's like it 20, was a long road. 20, 25 <laughs> minutes later, just down the road. <laughs> Ashley wasn't impressed. Um, <laughs> technically, it was the same road. Yeah, it was just down the road. It, <laughs> it just, was like, down the road. You didn't <laughs> lie. <laughs> like, to, to be at fair. the end of the road, there was a roundabout, and on the roundabout, there was the. That sounds like the Ratnabog. Yeah. And down the road, there was a roundabout. On the roundabout, there was a fellow. <laughs> <laughs> there the there is a there very long man. road yes. where the old twos are. Like so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we could have been in the same place. It might be. I think ours was the academy, which They've is like a bit long. There's, there definitely wasn't a university next to. Nah. It, I think it's in the. No, we were near a train station. I think we were. It was just down the road. There's no other way to describe it. It's just down the road. <laughs> ah. Um. <laughs> so, what about memorable gigs individually? Not ones that you've been to together, but. Who wants to go first? Because I've, got, go my, f- I've got, go got my answer. Go on. You go first. Uh, <laughs> no, it is completely out of left field. Uh, these two probably know what I'm going to say. Um, AJR. Uh, yeah, he hates them. I'm not a AJR? Fan. Yeah, you probably recognise the most time. of their songs. They're the music they play in uh, TK Maxx. <laughs> so what? It's the first time that you don't recognise Yeah, man, just, as well what, as me. What, 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 what song do they sing? Uh... What's their most popular song? Bang. It depends. Bang, I'd say. There's, it's, there's, there's Bang, there's Weak, like World's Smallest Violin is currently blown up on TikTok. Who are they called, sorry? AJR. Oh, this AJR. makes me feel old, because this is like, <laughs> it's like, is it like a new band? Uh, uh, they've been really going for quite a while, but they've just like started picking up mainstream T- attention. Tell you what, I listen to them and I feel too old for them. <laughs> yeah. World's Small, this one's... If you jump to the end of this one, you might recognise it. E, I don't know that one. That's just like. <laughs> is this like. Was this kind of like. Is this like a TikTok trend yeah. thing? Yeah, the, oh, this, like, that this makes song sense. Blew up. That's probably why I don't know it then. So I'm here. Yeah. I'm on TikTok. I just. I'm just. I'm never on it though. So yeah. I'm like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went to go see them back in October. And it was like yeah, the put, best show okay, I've ever it, seen. It's the thing is like it's it, it, they put on a show that yeah. that makes all the difference. You yeah. don't even have to like the music if you like the show. That's oh, why I really like Back to the Future the musical. I wasn't even massive on the songs. I just thought the show was like absolutely amazing. Fair enough. What's that? Because they don't say anything in the actual. Sorry. 
<laughs> what songs do they do? Because <laughs> they don't do any songs in the actual program. Well, the the, the song, the obviously the most popular song is um, Pow, Power of Love. Huey Lewis obviously. in the news. <laughs> yeah, you know, like the song that, and and obviously, quite obviously, they do the um, yeah, Chuck Berry song. Yeah. We're down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Now that's no longer a musical. That's just a, a show with a few songs in, like the actual. Johnny be good. No, but they have they have they have their own songs as well. Like they've wrote songs okay. for. But how did they go? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you were at the show. <laughs> well, you have more chance than us four put together figuring out what one of the songs. Well, there was like. one where the, the um, George McFly was like creeping on the the girl, like watching out. He was that sounded like really creepy. Like he was he was, he was, he was in okay. the in the tree. I like, do watching remember this, that part of the movie. Watching this girl, it's quite creepy. What do you think <laughs> it's, about it's it? It's like, quite creepy. The whole yeah. the whole premise of it is rather mm-hmm. um, yeah. cre- creepy movie. <laughs> but then there was another part where like um, the doc like. Would, was kind of um, he was in the future, like he was like on a spaceship, I'd never seen before. Like this, this wasn't on the film. It wasn't. It was like a brand new kind of thing. I've seen him in a train. <laughs> he, sing, he sung a song about that. I don't know how the fucking songs go. You know, just like yeah. <laughs> they just sound like musical songs. But like you know, the, the, the stage show was great, and then they had the the DeLorean at the end that went out into the audience. It was like dun 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 This is very passionate. Yeah, and it was like I was just like I was just saying, is there any chance we can't get copyrighted and you you? Cut that out and use that as the intro. <laughs> just <laughs> play like well, intro you know music. I don't, I don't think anybody would notice. That's pretty cool. Like, maybe, maybe people could do that. Just change yeah. the key of it. But then, because obviously, then after that, then that, like, it's like, and then all the special effects happened, and then the DeLorean disappeared because it went like now. back back to the past or into the future. No, Nobody knows. Back. Either or, <laughs> yeah. back to the future back, or into the past. Yeah. He went back to the future. There you go. Back, he went back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, the future was now. Because it was 2015, that was the future. So the future is now past eight years ago. <laughs> the, that that, that oh movie God. was very <laughs> optimistic with yeah. what it thought about. They should do it again. The, the, the 2015 yeah. would look like. Jaws 13 was just Jaws like, yeah, 30. way too ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> 3D. Vision they do it again where they're like, oh, because the timeline changed so much, like none of the stuff actually happened. And now you're in 2023. Yeah, you know, I would, I would have absolutely loved to have gone to um, one of that, that 80s bar that was that they opened. Yeah. Except, like, I would, I'd replace Michael Jackson, obviously, <laughs> with someone else. <laughs> Prince, maybe. I don't know. That's, yeah, yeah. Affairs. There's, yeah. There's a lot of questionable characters in that era, though. Um, so, HMV Newcastle asked, uh, what one thing do you think would really help you make a massive impact? For example, uh, financial backing, equipment uh, for merch, uh, equipment, would you rather merch, uh, the travel, etc., the right support slot, who would be the best support slot, a manager, those kind of things. Um, if you could pick one thing to improve the band and go forwards. Oh, was this the question that I answered, not realising this was a question for Labyrinthine Options? And I thought it was being Jen. <laughs> <laughs> we also, so on the, on the Instagram page, we share obviously the account. So whenever you're messaging, I see them and go, James will get that. Um, <laughs> But I put the questions up, and obviously when you reply to the questions on the story, it comes through the messages. <laughs> and I put the question of that, and this came through from HMV Newcastle and James Wood. Well, actually, what I would think I would do... I was like, how would you some kind of... <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, and then it's like, no, that's, that's the question for the band to answer. I was like, oh, wait. Right. Anyway, I'm sorry. If you I guys could answer the one most important, like the one thing you think will push you next, I'll find what James's answer was. Van. <laughs> uh, a van, probably for me at least. A van. A van. A van. <laughs> Please get us out of the northeast for a little bit. Um, no, that's a joke. This seems very nice. But I, I think just nice finding the right. Oh, my question for Labyrinthine Ocean. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Didn't realise we asked. <laughs> this, this is James's answer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's, nice, that's pretty much. Yeah. He even said. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> This is what happens. We'll get this in a minute, but oh, sorry. Go on, a van. Yeah, I think that would probably help. Um, a van is a good investment, especially yes. make sure it's like a, it's a a van that works because I've, I've seen too many <laughs> oh, posts no, last down. minute kind of. Oh my god, our van's broken down. What the hell did we do? Yeah, Steve, he was doing a gig down the country in his van, just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in a four grand debt now to get it fixed. I, I think I think the other thing is just finding the right 
audience. Yeah, just yeah. like publicity, just finding people who like us. How would you go that about that? That sounded very self-defeating. <laughs> um, no, I get it. No. How would you, you go met about me? that? <laughs> would you look for support acts with headline acts that are your genre, or would you try and mix it up? So, for example, uh, I'm doing like a mini tour at the minute, and me and James have very different music styles. He's very folk, rock, pop. Uh, yeah. I am very singer songwriter, loop pedal solo, one man band thing, and uh, he supported it. And his it, it worked really well. To be fair, like because it was a different audience, people that came to see James would be like, "Oh, Connor was really good," and people that came to me were like, "James was really good" because you don't expect it. Yeah. Would you look for the same genre to match you to be like they might like our music, or would you be like, "Oh, I got support anyone and see what happens." I think like when I when I book like gigs where we have to sort of find supports. Um, we sort of do a mix, like, because I think it's very difficult to find someone with our genre because there is no definitive uh, uh, genre. Especially in this this area, yeah, like, down yeah. south, there's a lot there's more a lot that kind of sounds like, like that. And um, apparently in America. Yeah, yeah. We, we get told that we sound... Like, there was a guy who came over from America at one of our gigs, and he was like, you sound like the stuff that's happening in, like, California. And we were like, well, a bit far away from that, but... Um, <laughs> I, I don't I think, think the van's going to help the California. The van's not going to help. Honestly, we can get a van. Unless, unless, unless we, 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 we can do the Back to the Future style. If, um, if, you get a, if, you get a, if you get if you get a little bit of money right and you're able to um, push like like pay for ads on social media, you can specifically select which area you want to push. Yeah. So you do your little advertisement and you push specifically California. Yeah. And people from California, I don't know what good it'll do. I mean, maybe you'll have to go. No one from California is going to fly over to England to see but, a show. But if you, if you advertise your Spotify and stuff like that, people yeah. might be like, might oh, build up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think like we, we get told we sort of have the like California nice, nice grungy sort That's of thing. A so lot of people skip past ads. Ads are great. When's the last really ad you really watch on YouTube? Um, when's the last time you went on YouTube ads? Press, no, but it it's the same thing. But when's the last time you went skip? No, just skip or you scroll past it on Facebook. No, I, I always watch the ads, suggested I ads. I, no, I, I have Ublock Origin. I'll tell you what, it's brilliant. <laughs> no, there you go. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. It's one of the. the if you ever wanted to, to put an ad out on Facebook, um, you I you find you find out. Months. Never got me any. I swear to God, right? You you find out an ad that you like that sounds someone sounds similar to you, and you click. Why am I listening? Why am I? Uh, seeing this ad and it tells you exactly the prerequisites that they put it's quite scary yeah and then you just copy that and then honestly you, you yeah. do it once I my, swear my, God, do it once and you find an instant year next year we'll mine it never yeah. works like that I, I looked at my twitter analytics and it thought I was a 25 year old woman uh, which is not quite right but <laughs> at least 27 I mean, aren't you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly, clearly. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it works but do, oh, you, can, say, you can turn off ad preferences though so you can say like yeah don't don't track what I do please well well, yeah but it was and it's just sort of generic stuff like uh, cat food and things that's a bit generic <laughs> I think um, it was like, like well TikTok for example um, they'll, you can you can pay money to TikTok and it'll not say that's an ad it'll just push the algorithm to more people yeah. so you'll that's that's one thing you, you look at you look at the algorithm uh, TikTok's basically it's, I'm saying this if I'm a bloody expert on fucking TikTok but what it is it's, it's basically a search engine yeah that's it's not um, it's not a video service it's a search engine so if you've got enough if you tell physically the only way you can tell TikTok really is either if you've, you have keywords which is usually bullshit or you pay them money and you tell them I want these people to see me yeah this is who i want to see me so you you pay them money they'll not they'll not say this is a paid ad or anything like that it'll yeah. just it'll push it we've but. we've had quite good success to be honest with like small ad runs we sort of i've sort of put a fiver here and there do things and yeah. like i think one of them on tiktok got like 11k views which yes. isn't much on tiktok but like it was quite good for us when it's, we get, like, it's quite mad usually. how like the the likes and the views even out over because yeah. At, on Twitter, like ten likes is a good tweet. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very strange. Yeah. On, on Instagram, two hundred is a good tweet. On yeah. TikTok, it's like you've got people with <laughs> like hundred thousand likes. Like, yeah, that's a banger. Um, See, no thing is, I did a TikTok in the pandemic, and one of mine got to like four hundred and seventeen thousand views. Like it took well. up. And it was just me taking the piss out of my missus. Um, <laughs> anything I put music related gets like. Three views. Oh, <laughs> I made a really good one about ignoring a text though, and everybody was like, "I fucking relate." Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. 
do that but like subliminally put your music in it yeah. so you, you can do that like, you know you can, you, can, you can put your sound put the sound on you just turn the volume down yeah. and then it's like it's got your thing in the more shares that gets oh no it's not shares it's um people have to use the sound honestly it's yeah. i i did a little um rabbit hole one time down kind of like how does tiktok algorithms work because <laughs> yeah, i'm like sad like that ah, really. no i, I feel like I do, I feel, I it, do it changes like all the time though like they're, they're oh, just they're, they're just every month to say okay now we want to push this now we're going to do that so you think something's working first and then all of a sudden it's just nope that's uh, that we don't want that video? anymore terrible do we do we still do tiktok videos i do i think the last time i looked i had zero views so um <laughs> how much has it got now uh we have 42 followers. We went up by eight. Yeah, well, that's all right, isn't it? Follow us as uh, off the at off the stage UK on TikTok. Our latest video has 14 views. 14 views. So uh, of them, 42 followers. Um, they're not even seeing the bloody videos. You other, could so. be the 15th. Video. You could be. Yeah. You could be. Our highest view so far is 344. Oh, hold on. There's a 448. Wow. Oli Mer's only got 200. I know. I was gonna say Oli Mer's literally like endorsing the, the podcast. Know. Only got. <laughs> 200 views. It's just, yeah. Maybe, maybe they just don't like Oli I don't know. TikTok's, uh, Oli Mo's maybe me. just too old for TikTok. Maybe we're just too old for TikTok. <laughs> Have you ever, yeah. That's, I, that's I go on and I feel too old for TikTok and I'm like 18. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like, no, that's, so it's, God knows yeah. how I feel like flipping it. <laughs> It's it's a very um, fast moving platform. I um, <clears throat> so going back to this question because we're nearly at the end of part two. Obviously, you guys would invest in a van. I actually haven't read these because James has a lot of the messages, and I'm like, meh. James will get to that. Um, <laughs> you we put a post well, yeah. on <laughs> last <clears throat> week saying what questions we'd like to ask you guys, and uh, HMB asked obviously what one thing and I'm going to read out exactly how this is structured because you fucked up there uh, <laughs> what one thing would uh, you think would make a real help you know a question asked before the next question HMB asks before we reply says for labyrinthine oceans by the way then James goes financial backing for merch and industry standard recordings will start you off really well once you have those you can advertise yourself to support slots quite well Going to see them on Thursday at the Vox. I hope you didn't slay them because I'm not too this. <laughs> <laughs> they were terrible. Oh, they were shit. <laughs> Going to see them this Thursday at Vox Tap Room as I only live two minutes away from there, laughing out loud. <laughs> I wasn't literally laughing out loud. Lol. Just lol. Oh, sorry, lots of love. Yeah. <laughs> Manager is always a plus. There's something about having someone on the outside looking in that gets a different perspective of the music and can guide you in the right direction. So a manager is pretty much an extra band member, so don't expect financial backing from them. But overall, makes the world go round. HMVs, that was my question for Larry Dean <laughs> James, ah, right. <laughs> Didn't realise we asked. Well, that's the preview for my answer for the future episode. Oh, you've even prepared it. That's the preview of my answer for the future episode. There we go. <laughs> laughing face, laughing face, classic James. <laughs> To be fair, uh, 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 am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, it's a s- solid answer. Yeah. Great, great answer. <laughs> I thought, I thought, you know what it is. Yeah, but that's better. <laughs> I'm giving myself a pat there. Oh, <laughs> right, let's get to part three because Daniel needs to arrange a lift home soon. Yes, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll see you after the break. I kind of looked in the light. Uh, oh, why <laughs> didn't I do that? Cool. Yeah, are you ready for a, another drink? James, I'll have half a mango side. I'm so wet. What the baby? I'm recording. And welcome back to side. He's, he's three. just cutting here, isn't he? I know. I, I, I think I heard it. Right. Notes, make a note. Stop writing songs, make a note. The Buy note. another. <laughs> get another headphone set. Right, I'm doing it now. No, it's just fine. Do it. We'll do it. All right. Just, just, just so, um, in part section that changed, um, the interval is what we call it. I guess I can't multitask. Um, these guys were arguing over songs to play, and the reason they were doing oh, that, James, because you were downstairs at the bar, okay. is they've recently released a song, and they're about to release an EP. Right. So, okay. tell us about this, guys. What we got coming out? So we 
release eight in sort of late March. Um, and then we have an EP coming up, Ooh. which has five songs. Five, yes, five yes, songs. that's correct. Five. I can't five. count past four. <laughs> Most. I don't even get that far. Yeah. <laughs> so all you need is a musician four and three. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. One, one, one. There'll be no seven eights in this household. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we've we've got that coming up in early June on does, June the second. Does uh, the EP have a name? It does. It's called the Deep End. The deep End. I like deep it. End. Why is it, it called the Deep End? Ocean theme. Yeah, ha, ha, it's funny ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, labyrinth ocean, the lab- labyrinthine. Oh, ocean. You now. Yeah. Because Posh. we're going in on the deep end is the stupid pun that I well, thought of. It's not related to it, but well, it's it's like um, how many more stands do you want? We we did uh, an underwater shoot. That leader yeah. with us. We, we did Ooh, like a, it was like, very a Nirvana, sh- like a Nirvana style. Kind of, oh, yeah. we, we were sort of um, approached by everyone was clothed. Everyone was clothed. Just putting us out there. It wasn't Nirvana style. There were no everyone babies. Was clothed. Yeah. <laughs> there were no babies. We weren't throwing babies in the water. I was gonna um, say because you, you have you have the baby keep trying to do lawsuits every day. There, there was, years there, and, uh, there <laughs> was a phone in enough. the water. Yeah. <laughs> there was a phone in the water. We don't talk about the fact that I jumped in the pool with my phone in my pocket. It was a brand new phone. He lowered himself no. via the ladder into the pool, including his phone. <coughs> that was how yeah. many weeks Leaders. old? Uh, like th- three, two or three, two or three weeks old. And then I bought a new phone, which is exactly the same, and nothing, nothing happened. happened. Nothing uh, happened. Like, oh, like, I've noticed you've got the protective casing as well. <laughs> yeah, which I've is, got this uh, absolutely giant yeah, case on it. <laughs> that is brilliant. That's yeah, uh, that's what I always use. Honestly, I haven't smashed it yet. I used to break all my phones, but then I bought a protective. They're called boomer cases, but because you, you see all. I know, stop pushing the thing, thing off. Content, James. But anyway. But, but yeah, um, honestly, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have anything else except those like little leather things because I don't. I don't get cracked screens anymore. Yeah, I've, I've just got a clear one, and that works for me. It's Isn't nice. yours like military? It's, spec it's very, very protective. <laughs> it's like, it just breaks the floor instead of the, the case. Sometimes um, I do like chuck it around, but it works. But it was a very eventful photo shoot because I, I have a really bad um, prescription. Like my eyes are really bad. I wear contact lenses. Right. Couldn't wear contact lenses because we were opening our eyes underwater. Oh, yeah. I couldn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was rather um, scary. I, I had some goggles. You that had was some lovely. goggles. Um, you must be like yeah. pleasantly surprised at the results, though, if you couldn't oh, see was, what what was going. I don't it was, think it I was quite my shocking. Ones. He, he, the whole time, it was like. Yeah, like I, that. Like I, I hate being underwater, so I couldn't handle it. And it was no. like a three meter diving pool, so it was like. To be fair, I mean, you you did well to continue the photo shoot after you realised your phone was kind of because I wouldn't have carried that on. I'd be like, I'm going home. It was the time when it, um, I was I, I I bought myself, you know, the the Beatles Hofner bass. Yeah. Uh-huh. I bought myself one of them. It was it was it was like a newer modern version. It was like I think it was, it was like five hundred and fifty pound, which is the most I've ever spent on a guitar ever. Um, the first, my first practice, I just went to kind of like stretch my arms. And anyway, the I didn't have a strap block, and it broke and it snapped. Oh. And I was like, "This is the worst <laughs> moment of my life." I can and feel it was in my throat. Af- oh. After the end, um, there was obviously an awkward silence. Me just like <laughs> dying inside. The guitar player was like, "Do you not want to go home and get your other bass and come back?" I'm like, I truly do not. <laughs> 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 Didn't even get a chance to play. Right. However, right. I did. I did actually fix that bass later on. So, but anyway, yeah. No, you did. You did well. Just, to just, just quickly. Um, the headsets aren't available, but I can get two stands and two of the cases. Well, leave leave the headset for now because I've got. I, can, I think we can get better headsets. Ooh. Uh, well, I just, I just, all right. Just, all right. I know. Well, I'm just, just sizzling. Just sizzling. I might be in indulging uh, Amazon shopping there too much. Um, how did the photo shoot happen in the water? Was there? So this is daft. Is someone in the water where you're doing the shot, or is this yes. like just a screen outside that it can, no. like, you know, you can, like a diving <laughs> tube where you can see through the window? Yeah. Obviously, no, it was it was in Bolden in the diving pool, which I didn't know existed, but it was oh, quite. I didn't know there was a Bolden cool. by. Oh. Yeah, they they teach like scuba diving mm. there. It's quite nice. Um, it was very warm, very very warm pool. Um, but we were approached by um Aria Movement. Um. And she'd seen us at Summer Streets when we played the BBC Introducing stage. 
Um, and she sort of approached us maybe like a month after that. She was like, so you guys, would you like to um, do an underwater photo shoot? Like just to add to our portfolio? Because usually you've got to pay, but she asked to do it for free, oh, which was lovely. Splendid. Um, wow. And yeah, we didn't really know what to expect. Um, so we sort of turned up and... Um, yeah, it was very strange, but very fun. Um, yeah. There was just sort of a guy in the pool with like a waterproof camera with a light and it was just sort of looked towards the light because you couldn't see anything. You probably could because you had goggles. I had goggles. You had goggles. Um, <laughs> he's one step ahead of anyone. <laughs> he's playing 3D chess. No, 5D chess. These aren't um, goggles. These are sunglasses, but pretend they are goggles. This yeah. is really underwater yeah. with the goggles. Are these photos available like Instagram or are they to be released out? Some yeah, of them. Um, we've posted a couple of them. Oh, what um, that looked like? It was, it was quite good. Um, You'll see me pulling the funny first because I don't like being underwater. I, I wonder how. Nah, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. Like, but yeah, it was. It was rather fun. Um, it was, it was quite a unique photo shoot because Very, yeah, you, yeah you, you don't get. Usually, it's. I love the fact that you're in goggles. <laughs> 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 Everyone's vibing, and then you've just got Toby like, I can swim. <laughs> goggles. Uh, oh, I can. Yeah. Yeah, that was also like, like that was me at the that back one as well. <laughs> Which is just oh wow! It was very fun. Um, there was lots of like fabric in the water. Harry and Potter and Goblet of Fire vibes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Chasing mermaids and stuff. Oh uh, damn right! But very very odd experience. Cool. But very very cool. I'd highly recommend working with. Um, yeah. When you movement. edit videos for the podcast, can you add photos in? This would be a really cool time for you to put that photo in. I can the send viewers. over like the the actual one, so it's like not like an that? Instagram <laughs> screenshot quality. That's um, all it was like, gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah okay yeah, yeah, if you'd like to yeah. Them up. Uh, what time on it? I'll make a mental note of the easy eight minutes. Like okay, not yeah, eight minutes, mm-hmm. eight minutes. I'll put that on. It just makes it easy for the post editing <laughs> session if I know what time it is, so I'm not kind of like trying to search for yeah right, okay yeah no yeah if you could send us send us that i'll uh, I'll, I'll show you the, that's really cool that's good. Yeah. <laughs> because everything you explained there it's like <laughs> it's just you have to see you have to see yeah. the photo to kind of understand it yeah and if you're just watching on the spotify no you can there's you, now a video there's now a video look at your phone yeah and if you're like i don't want to do that tough yeah exactly <laughs> you can imagine it mentally <laughs> yeah yeah just picture it but no just just look at your f- Spotify or whatnot. Yeah, Spotify has video now. Did you know that? That's very yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. I had it for months, but James has only just figured out how to get <laughs> yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. Don't feel bad, James. Uh, we're, uh, we're at 48, six episodes in. Still haven't got us on uh, Apple yet. Uh, Apple doesn't have video, though, so... Yeah, Apple. Fuck you, Apple, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, but sponsor us, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like just free stuff. Apple gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The phone, the computer... <laughs> iPad <laughs> had the watch till it broke. <laughs> but um, but. we got the the pictures from the the covers of the EP and the single are like sort of very cropped ones of a couple of the photos from yeah. the shoot. Um, because we were in in the deep end. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's quite like little and figuratively in it. Like it's kind of like we're we're we're, we're going it. Yeah. No, it's done. We're moving it. Uh, we're moving it. The territories unknown by. Yeah. Is this going to be your first EP? Um, first EP, yeah. we, we kind of released a self-created album of some form it, last year. It was part of a college project. We, we yeah. all kind of had a part we, we didn't in sleep the whole time. writing, recording, mixing everything. And releasing the it. Eight to ten weeks that we had. Yeah, we, um, we, it was, uh, I'm not actually sure how we did it. So, <laughs> so, and some, some of the songs were, were, came out really well, and then others are Fade to Grey, which is a horrific <laughs> we song. We don't talk about that uh, one. That I, I wrote. It, look, it's, it's fine, it's just very not us. You two wrote the songs. You do not understand how much pain I have looking at those Logic Project files right. for ten weeks. Now, here's the genius marketing thing, right? If I sent, if I just like, put that like as a 15 second clip, oh, oh my someone's God. phone. Put your phone on silence <laughs> oh, like Irish Connor it? I've never seen Irish Connor before must be angry <laughs> angry inheritance coming there I do deeply apologise normally it's just like a grumble right? oh, what, what I was, was going to say was like I sent that I, 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 I clipped that out right 
saying, oh, this is the bloody worst song. You didn't want to hear it. <laughs> then you say, this is the song. Everybody's going to want to listen to it just to see how bad it is. Oh, what have you done? Marketing genius. <laughs> no. Marketing genius. It's, right? it's, uh, mm. Because you've already said it's bad. We, we, we all know it's bad. But then other people, some people will go, actually, it's not that bad. If, it, if it it's was quite released bad. by another band, it I, would make more yeah, sense, I feel it's, like. It's, it's like, like really odd. If it was like a solo ambient type project type thing, it's, then it would I think be fine. If, if, can you, if, can you if find it wasn't a five minute long bossa song on an album that has metal and dream pop on it. <laughs> it's very odd. Cool. It's well, very c- odd. Can you find this? Because is it was a way of like accessing this on the uh, internet. It is it's, on, on it's on Spotify, Spotify still. It right, is still well, on Spotify. It's well, probably going you know, to disappear soon. At some point, it well, might disappear. So catch it while you can. Well, I'm going to catch it. Um, I'm going to listen to it on the way back. Oh, God. <laughs> Down- oh, no. Download it. Re- put it on YouTube. Buy on your Bandcamp media if you really fire. If you're, if you're is it still under the same band it. name? It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is on a Visions from Below album. But, but, uh, Make of it what you will. I mean, we're, we're being negative about it, but I, yeah, I, I guess kind of the idea for this EP is that it's a lot more of where we are as a band the moment we've got yeah. a lot we've since we, a lot we did that respond. and we also feel like the kind of recordings match that yeah, so yeah. Wh- where about did you record we we did it all ourselves in the um not great studio that we had um oh right, so yeah it was it was fine and you did a lot on yeah. just your <laughs> mac um yeah <laughs> see this is one of that's the, a good this song is yeah, that's one of the good, good songs oh, like, yeah this is our dream pop bit so which one was the bad song <laughs> don't tell him, don't tell him. No, you're not. No, that's, 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 that's the best that's one. That's, 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 that's the second best one. one. <laughs> Let's forget through them. It's just going to be like fried quality in the mice. Not that, not that one. That's, not that, really that, that's, that's the old one. Very old demo done in Fields Music Shoot. You really don't have you much know, more on here, to be honest with you. No, yeah. no it's, it's like it's deep in into the album. Visions from Below in the album. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair to grow. Yeah. Fate the Grey, that's the one. It's just bossa. It's this for five minutes. It, that's the whole song. Like, you, you can listen to ten seconds and that's the whole song. I love a good mix song. Yeah? I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you're still going to be able to hear it, like, faintly. It's not faintly, it's quite loud. Well, this is the theme tune, <laughs> Welcome to Off the Stage it's, Podcast. It's like some weird um, like like telenovel. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Welcome a telenovel to theme Off the Stage <laughs> Podcast. <Woo. laughs> we'll have a, a Halloween it's, theme, like. Yeah. I don't think it's all right. It's just very not us, I feel like. Yeah, that's I think that's probably why you don't like it, because yeah. you, you feel it's like you could do better. But oh, it just doesn't fit our oh, sound. Even yeah. if it was just shorter, like all of the guitar yeah. sections were shorter. It's very long. It gets very old very Here, fast. Here's the thing, right? So you've got that, and then you think like, you think, oh, maybe next time when we do a song, we'll do this differently. But you have to have that stage of, of oh, yeah. doing a song and thinking, no, we could do something else. It's all about progression, yeah. isn't it? That's the idea. Yeah, and that's the thing I don't want to get copyright striked. <laughs> we are going to sue you. Well, they're going to take their own podcast off. No, but CD, baby, or Distro Kid. Uh, yeah, know. Distro Kid will be like, yeah. ah! Um, How, no, yeah. when that happens when you advertise your own song. Right? My, like, my late oh, single home was like, this is my song. And then Facebook went, this but song no, it's, is, uh, it's not is, is yours. copyright. I go, well, yeah, I own the rights. I wrote yeah. it. I did all of that. know it works. So that's a awesome pro. Um, yeah, I mean, I think with the new EP, it sort of, it, it just feels a lot more settled and like us. Um, so it, it's sort of a big step forward yeah, from you've, uh, you've found below. you've found your sound. Yeah, uh, uh, and it's like this is the first EP that's kind of like, like um, projecting that personality that you yeah. feel like you've gained together. Yeah, um, as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very much. Um, like a more formed sound, I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, just quickly rewinding back to like 10 minutes ago when you mentioned uh, you did a BBC introducing spot. Yes. How did you go about that? How did you get that? What happened there? Um, we were just offered it um, by, I can't remember who got it. Was. It was either Nick or Rebecca. Um, but we were sort of just approached about it, which was really quite surprising because it was from when we released that album and we were like oh that's that's quite good for that stuff mm. um 
but yeah it was really nice we sort of opened summer streets we were the first band on um which is a lovely Trish, festival Trish, a lot more people showed up later they did but there, w- <laughs> there was a lot of people there still um yeah. and it was really nice sort of just to have the sea in front of you when you were playing instead of like a dingy sort of nightclub sort of thing I, which is also great I, but like i looked at know. the sea and i thought wow that sure is some maze like sea <laughs> It was labyrinthine-ish. <laughs> his faces go to... It looked somewhat face. like a, a labyrinth, but not quite. Um, Good luck finding a new guitarist, I'm out. <laughs> that's it, you're, out. you're the only one left in that, the band now. That's the strong. <laughs> um, that's no, cool. it, so, it was um, nice. It was a nice place. We were saying before, this episode comes out on the 25th of April. Yes. Yeah. Um, is there anything you need to plug from the 25th onward? Yes, so we've got um, a gig supporting Sorority Girls at their nice. single release, double single release, um, at Xerox on the 28th, um, and that's from like 9pm, I think. Bit of a late start, so that'll be good, I think. Um, they're really, really nice and very, very talented. Um, and then we've also got our big EP release headliner on the 2nd of June, I think. No, it's the 3rd of June. 3rd of June, independent. Um which is really the only headline show we're going to be playing around that time. So if you do want to see us, then buy tickets to that Th- one. 3rd of June, independent. 3rd yeah, of June, independent. Love independent. I love Great it. place. Like, yeah. You know what? I haven't been in years because the last time I went, I was like, I felt 10 years older than everyone else there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this Did is... that when it's, when it's in the electrics every week? Yeah. I love the electrics. Great, great band. I like the electrics. Um... Is there any release you need to promote? Um, yes, the 2nd of June is when we release our EP. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, hopefully you will like it. Or not. Or not. That's fine too. Listen to it anyway. Just yeah, give, we, give it we a listen. Like it. We, we a, quite like it. If you hate it, listen to it and make fun of it. and then If you hate it, it's a personal <laughs> attack on us. <laughs> and so that's don't fine. hate it. And we're coming for you. <laughs> That was a direct threat. So uh, you best to you. Another bit. <laughs> um, Daniel will be approaching your location. Yes. He is finally, rapidly approaching your location. If people wanted to find you on social media, what are your socials? Um, so we're at Labyrinthine Oceans. Um, I'm going to try and spell that out. L A B Y R I N T H I N E Oceans. Go on, spell out, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm very sorry for the band I'm name, but I'm yes, we're Labyrinthine Oceans everywhere except for Twitter, where we're Labyrinthine with double eyes on each eye, so don't, I'm not even going to try with that one. Um, Go on, give it your luck. best guess. Good luck. Um, L-A-B-Y-R-I-I-N-T-H-I-I-N-E. Can I have it in a sentence, please? <laughs> um, well done. Mm. We're like that. We are off the stage UK on everything, but on Twitter, we're off the stage too. Why is Twitter... Like, so I, shit. Twitter it, is. Our band name doesn't fit in the character limit. So, so you yeah, added oh. some extra eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we, yeah, so I was like, oh. Could have been like Labyrinthino, <laughs> but no, you went for. We went for the hard option. Labyrinth in I had the same problem with my band. James Berry and the best ever folk rock band out of full world. I mean, it's quite a long word anyway, but. <laughs> it doesn't fit in any handle, to be honest. Like, I didn't think it through. But hey, oh. So, um. If you want to find us, we are off the stage UK, as we say. On the 17th of June, we are hosting a festival at the Ship Isis. And before we tell you all about it, James, we actually need to record it for Spark FM. So we're going to do this in one big thing. Oh, okay. A live recording thing. You ready? Okay. I'm going to... Well, I'm going to- Hi guys, what's happening? Uh, thank you for listening to Spark FM. Uh, I am Connor Michael from the Off The Stage Podcast and I'm here with... James. James, and we're also here with... Uh, Labyrinth Oceans. Labyrinthine Oceans. <laughs> uh, I've randomly decided to record this during the podcast. Um, we just have to let you know that on the 17th of June, we are running our own festival, the Off The Stage Fest, where we have the likes of Ellen, the Neo Electrics, Fail To Ignite, Electric Circus, and many more are going to be playing at the Ship Isis, 17th of June. It starts at two o'clock. Uh, it is a donation entry. You pay what you feel. All the payments go to the acts. Um, it's going to be a great, great night. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to hearing some quality entertainment on a Saturday afternoon slash evening. Yeah. Um, we didn't prompt a script, so I hope that made <laughs> he sense. Just, he just put this on us, to be fair. Like, I'm just kind of like... <laughs> um, thank you for listening off the stage. Thank you for listening to Spark FM, and we'll see you soon. 
Yeah, that'll do. Right, sound. Sorry. Um, we've got loads of partnerships at the minute. We're like HMV <laughs> and then Spark, and we're getting there. <laughs> um, if anybody else fancies uh, being part of the show, if you want to drop some sponsors in, yeah. drop us a message or an email. We are off the stage uk at gmail.com. Um, if you've got any questions you want to just ask James if you've got any suggestions of who to get on the podcast we're quite booked up to June but we will still ask them um, anything else we need to promote you've got a song coming out um, yeah I've got, I mean, I've got the thing is like, I didn't want to break it because it's also out on the 3rd of June however the thing is I've, I've got a no no because it's, it's an independent it's it's a a, yeah. Yeah. however um, I've got a, a gig on the 3rd of June oh, at the right, Vox man. Brewery Tap Room um, in the afternoon and it's free entry so on. yeah so you can have a full day of music James man I'm gigging 3 till 6 well that's that's <laughs> your fault cancel it and get yourself down or uh, skip my gig and get yourself well, it'll the be probably ha- half 7 doors usually I think yeah yes. I do believe so I'll see if I can get down that mine's, mine's a 4pm start so it'll be yeah, like 4 it'll, however long my set is I don't usually know it's about like four, four to five past four you'll get there yeah, four to five past four. just leg it yeah. leg it over the bridge yeah plenty of time yeah get, get yourself get yourself to to my gig first then get yourself to Labyrinthine Oceans I might I might actually come to that one actually because I've got to I've deliberately put myself uh, a free day yeah if I can make it I can yeah Min. cool right, okay. um, what else is the promotion we good we good anything else I think so I mean we should plan this ahead of time really huge. it's more fun <laughs> yeah just thinking like, I don't know for a fact like, you've got Rich listen to this now go on how it guys shut the fuck up <laughs> well, we've got, uh, well, when's, when's, when's HMV Fest again uh, have not, have sort of that it's yet. not announced it's not announced so allegedly we might be doing a HMV Fest <laughs> potentially on like the 9th of September this year who knows but uh, <laughs> date. could be around then yeah possibly yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, acts are still to be confirmed so <laughs> yes um um, final question uh, a fa- second final question do you want a message about getting your lift because you'll probably be done in 20 <laughs> minutes <laughs> yeah final question and this is the deal breaker because I've seen it split the band a half and we nearly actually broke up the band during our last interval. Oh. Uh, what song are you going to play for us <laughs> Black Silk uh, no yes uh, it's a number <laughs> it's a number um, wait can I, can nine. I guess, guess the number guess the number <laughs> Pick oh, a number between oh, oh, seven guess, and guess nine. Okay, between what? Okay, so what? 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 what uh, I'm picking what? 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 Range? Between seven and nine. Between seven and nine. Se- between seven and nine. Pick a number, James. <laughs> Eight. It's James. Hey! Hey! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Or is that, is that like some sort of inside joke? That's the that song title. That's the song title. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I nearly, I, thought like, I nearly said seven. Because <laughs> I was thinking like seven, eight or nine, thinking there was like, this is like the... the <laughs> One in three chance. You, well, you I can't right. say select a number between eight and eight, can I? <laughs> Six. <laughs> well, because the, that, that question could have been either seven, eight or nine. Why was six scared of seven? Oh, God. <laughs> because... Why was six scared of seven? Because I'll leave the room. Because seven, eight, nine. Because seven, That's eight, it. yeah. It's okay, just going to yeah. be Toby doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that is project. a ten out of ten joke. <laughs> Thank you. There's a return one. Now. I was working <laughs> on that all night. <laughs> Not really. Um, we've actually got um, a competition running to win some merch, and one of them is making a playlist with our song. And we've had numerous um, seven, eight, nine jokes in the form of playlists and also count to ten with labyrinthian oceans oh you know what you should do it it's because because you can have one by you two yeah um three is the magic number it's two gone yeah um what's one with two in it two 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 little birds I don't know. Oh, because you can have three little birds as well, couldn't you? What would you have? I don't that's have three. got it on. Someone has done that. I'm sure yeah. there's a two. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. I, I, it's great, two but we, we, just, club, we get all these number playlists. Well, it's I'm going to do that funny. then. I'm going to make playlists. Yeah. I'll enter in the competition. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yes, we can put it on the pod and stuff. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right. Are we going to. Just the two of us. <laughs> just the two of us, that's <laughs> it. Okay. The two of us. <laughs> And then um, five is like, um, five will make you get down, yeah. Oh, that's a bad name though, isn't it? Uh, it's it's yeah. got to be like the number five. Yeah. Um, right. You know what, we could we could probably sit here, but should we just um, get you set up to ready to play? Mm-hmm. Um, 
<laughs> oh, that's a tune. Yeah, five years time. Five years time. <laughs> there we go. Five colours and a hair by McFly. It's... Oh, what a banger! Anyway, wise. Five leaf clover. <laughs> <laughs> You could, you could lay I'm in a rabbit with, hole on Spotify you could, you now. You could either rabbit hole. Enjoy the song, Eats. We're gonna, we're gonna um, let we'll Connor. See you next yeah, week. We're gonna let Connor rabbit hole down. We'll Spotify. be back with uh, Q in next week. Yep. So Spot on. Uh, we'll see you later. We'll get you set up. Cheers. Five little ducks. been listening to off the stage podcast make sure you tune in next time